sometimes you never know where you're going to find your next DIY project. Garages, attics, basements, they're often filled to the brim with treasures just waiting to be transformed. This nightstand has seen better days, but furniture and paint expert Amy Howard is here to bring them back to life. It looks like something that you might not really want to cherish or somebody might not even want to take it to their college dorm. Yep. We're going to rescue and restore it and make it something that you're going to want to cherish. And Amy, that is your specialty. I can't wait to see what you're going to do with this nightstand. I like thinking about where's this piece going to go? Mm -hmm. How am I going to use it? In this, I think it would be great in a little boy's room. Yes, it so would. So that's part of the reason for my color selections of Brooks Gray and Vintage Affliction. We don't have to strip it, we don't have to sand it, and we don't have to prime it with anything. Wow, really? Yes. You know, using the one-step paint, which is a chalk-based paint, makes it so easy. I'm going to use two different colors here, one for the inside and one for the outside of the cabinet. And then I'm going to finish it off with some wax. In addition to Amy Howard at Home Paint, you'll need simple green, paper towels, painter's tape, an angled brush, a round hog's hair brush, and a lint-free rag. What is the first step of the project? We need to clean the piece. Okay. You can only imagine where it's been. Yep. Now, remember when you're using Simple Green, it says concentrated on the top. Yep. So we want to make sure that we dilute it with water, two parts water to one part Simple Green. Make sure you follow the Simple Green with tap water to remove any leftover residue. What we're going to do is we're going to take this tape. Okay. And because we only want to be painting the inside of this piece, let's go in and put our tape here all the way around so it's protected. So now we're ready to paint the inside. Okay. So you see the brush that we're going to be using. It's got an angle to it. It's going to allow us to be able to get down into the corners really well. As you're laying it down, just put your brush down, try to get in that angle, and then go all the way across. And on this particular piece, I'm going to probably want to do two coats. Two coats, yeah. Yes, definitely. it's one step, but two coats. All right? Okay, looks good. Do you want to try it? Sure. Amy passes the paintbrush, and it's time to put my amateur painting skills to the test. Now, remember, we're going to allow about 15 to 20 minutes for this to dry. Okay. Put the other coat on, and then we'll take our tape off. Now we're ready to paint the outside just a little bit darker color so they'll complement one another. Sounds great, Amy. Why don't you show me how it's done? All right. See how I'm just going to run this edge? Mm -hmm. Part of the reason why it's nice to work with an angled brush, I want you to do long, clean strokes. You can't mess this up. We just want to make sure that there's no drips, that we come back and make sure that there's a, a nice, even application. So we're going to keep painting. We're going to get 100% coverage over the whole thing. Then that way we're going to do a second coat. It's going to take about 20 minutes to dry in between coats, and then we will be ready to wax. Amy, I can't believe this is the same nightstand we started with. I know, it's pretty crazy. Now we want to be able to finish it out with some wax. We want to make sure that it has a really nice protective coat on it. Absolutely. So we don't want to change the color. We don't want to antique it. We just want to be able to seal it with some clear wax. Okay. So I'm going to take the hog hair brush. I'm going to load it up into the wax. I'm just going to offload a little bit on here. You're going to be able to see it, and it looks kind of white as it's going to go on, but when you buff it, you're not going to see it anymore. Do you see the sheen already that's taking place? Yep. It's going from matte to having a little sheen on it. You ready to try? Sure. After we let the wax dry, it's time to buff it out with a lint-free rag. You know what, Amy? This is going to be just an incredible addition to a little kid's room. And this was really just an old nightstand that we found. We got it for nothing, and for just a few dollars in supplies, we made it look brand new, like something you would buy from a store. Yes, it looks awesome. You did a great job. With our drying time included, it took us an hour and a half, and we spent under $60 to do it. That's amazing. I think it looks great. Amy, thank you so much. Thank you. You did a great job. Thanks.